Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Team Toyota of Princeton to do yet another unusual RAV4 trim. Last video, we saw that RAV4 TRD off-road, all gas-powered, of course. Now, if you want the RAV4 hybrid, but you want the off-road trim for the hybrid, this is what we have. This is a 2023 Toyota RAV4 Woodland Edition. Midnight Black Metal is the color. We got the bronze wheels. So we're going to check out this Hybrid Woodland Edition, see if it's bringing the right off-road vibe into the RAV4 Hybrid. So let's dig in. All right, we're looking at the front end of this RAV4 Woodland, and of course we got the Midnight Black Metal. I think that goes great with the flat black on the grill. We have the hybrid Toyota badge in the middle, of course, with the chrome and the blue, indicating Toyota Hybrid. We have LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED fog lamps, standard bulbs for turn signals, functionality on the grill top and bottom. So I think it's a, a good looking front end. The wheel and tire package on the hybrid Woodland Edition, we have this 18 inch bronze machined aluminum alloy wheel. Toyota badge on the center cap. Standard brake and rotor package. Now these 18 inch bronze wheels are wrapped in Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain trail tires. 225 on the width, a beefy 60 series sidewall 18s, all four corners, all wheel drive. Full side profile on this Woodland Edition. I like the black, how it goes with the flat black around the wheel wells and the door sills to protect the vehicle from the trails and the rocks and the branches and all that good stuff. Now the ride height on the hybrid Woodland Edition is not as high as that TRD off-road gas powered vehicle we saw. That one had an 8.6 inch ground clearance. This one has a ground clearance of 8.1 inches. So about a half an inch lower. And that's because we have those hybrid batteries sitting lower in the car and that's gonna compromise the ground clearance a bit. As we move in closer, there is that flat black around the wheel wells and now along the bottom of the vehicle with the splash guards. We're color matched on the side view mirror with LED turn signals, color matched on the front and rear door handle. Up top now, we got the fuel filler, excuse me, the fuel filler is on the left side. Up top, we have the roof spoiler coming off the top. Color matched roof, shark fin antenna. Now we have the raised roof rails, which is part of this woodland off-road edition or trail edition, if you want to call it that. With the crossbars, no sunroof. All right, the rear end of this RAV4 woodland, we have the wiper down below. Now this is kind of a stubby uh, roof spoiler. I'd like to maybe see them extend that, stick this up there, clean it up, get it out of the way of car washes and the elements. We do have the Toyota badge here, but it's black with the blue inside rather than the chrome here on the back. RAV4 on the left side of the tailgate, on the right Woodland hybrid over here, but the Woodland is a sticker. I, I might like to see something more than just a sticker here. And now we have LED tail lights, standard bulbs for turn signals, flat black on the bottom bumper area, and then we have a functional dual exhaust. All right, we're under the hood of this RAV4 Woodland Edition, and what do we have for a power plant? We have Toyota's 2.5 liter inline four-cylinder hybrid engine made into an electronically controlled CVT transmission. It also has a 245 volt lithium ion battery pack with electric motors on the front and rear axle to provide that all wheel drive. Now we're looking at 219 net horsepower, 163 pound feet of torque. This vehicle can tow up to 1,750 pounds. MPGs 38 in the city, 35 on the highway, 37 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87. So you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, so now before we get into the interior, you're going to want to know, Mike, I'm kind of digging this hybrid uh, off-road trim with this woodland. How much am I going to have to pay for this? Well, here we go. MSRP base before options for the 2023 RAV4 Hybrid Woodland Edition is $34,025. Now, this particular one only has a couple of options. 
It has the door edge guards for an additional 150 and the door sill protector for an additional 199. But what you also get in included in the Woodland Edition for 2023, we mentioned the engine, we mentioned the ECVT, we mentioned the electronic on-demand all-wheel drive, but we're also getting a TRD tuned suspension. So you're going to have that suspension to give you that, that TRD magic to give you a better ride off-road, which I really, really like. Now, once we add in destination and delivery of $1,350 from Toyota's Woodstock, Ontario, Canada assembly plant, we have a total MSRP for this vehicle of $35,724. Let's check out the interior. All right, just want to let you know that Team Toyota of Princeton is providing special pricing to all Shabby's Ride subscribers for this RAV4 or for any other RAV4 they may have on their lot for sale. To get that special pricing, you need to do three things, right? Number one, you need to subscribe to the Shabby's Ride's YouTube channel. Number two, call Team Toyota at the number on the screen below. Give them the promo code to unlock that special pricing. Now, let's get back to the review. All right, starting with the footbox, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. The floor mats are in the cargo area at this time. Look at this. I love this RAV4 door sill plate to welcome you to the vehicle. That's on both sides of the car. I'm really digging that. It looks cool. Now, what do we have for seats? We have power seat with lumbar for the driver, manual assist for the front passenger, and then we have just black fabric interior. Armrest is, uh, uh, bolstering is pretty firm, headrest is pretty firm, so it's a pretty minimalist interior in this Woodland Division. Door panels, we have hard black plastic up top. Then we have that brushed aluminum on the door handle and on the trim that goes under the grab handle, flat black on the switch gear, a fairly, I'm going to say semi-soft armrest on here. Nothing crazy, very minimalist look. We have our door pockets. Oh, they're pretty good size, maybe a little skinny. We have the standard audio system in here with six speakers. We have some soft touch here now, and then we go brushed aluminum into the heat and air vent, more soft touch with a little stitching. And then down below here, we have a, a area for storage, but this doesn't have the rubber finish like we've seen on other RAV4s like the TRD Off-Road. So stuff's gonna slide around in here, it's just plastic. And then down below, a nice large glove box. Infotainment system, we have Toyota's eight inch. Latest and greatest, but it's an eight inch Toyota multimedia system, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. We do have the nav in here, but it's a subscription service only. So for, if I were buying this car, I would just take my maps and nav through my phone. We have our music where you can tune in what radio stations you want or get your Sirius XM going. Bluetooth your phone, vehicle settings. We can see our energy flow since we are in a hybrid. So they got you covered there. We can go to regular settings where you can set up our driver profiles, get our Wi-Fi hotspot going. All that good jazz software updates are all over the air. So they got you covered there. Now when we go to reverse, we take a look at the backup camera, nice and large. But I would like to see some trajectory. Let's see if we can turn on some trajectory lines. That's a close-up. That's a pan out. Doesn't look like I can, which is unfortunate. But at least it takes up the whole screen. Now as we come down, two heat and air vents, four-way hazards. We've got our rubber button for our volume. So we've got a man, uh, hard control for the volume, which is nice. More of the soft touch with the stitching right here. we got dual climate which I like, and you got all your buttons down here to adjust that, and you can sync them together. Down further, traction control off. Down below, we have a 12 volt and a USB and an area for storage. But again, instead of being that rubber, like we saw in the TRD off-road, this is plastic, so things are gonna kind of slosh around. Now, as we come down further, here is the gear shift that's gonna take you through this electronically controlled CVT. We have an electric emergency brake, auto vehicle hold on or off. And here are our drive modes, which we'll go through, but it does include an EV only mode as well. Then we have more of this brushed aluminum trim and then some flat black plastic. So no gloss black to get in, the, get in your way. Two cup holders, Toyota key fob. Here we go. Nice and simple. Lock, unlock, panic button. Toyota RAV4 on the back. And that's about it. Then we go to our center console 
semi-soft opener on up, an area for storage and two USB-Cs. All right, the Woodland Edition steering wheel. We have a soft touch steering wheel, but we have nice 10 and two notches Toyota badge on the horn button, all flat sur black surfaces on here, round bottom wheel, but this is a fairly large passenger or, uh, driver cockpit. No problem getting in and out. Flat black on your switch gear. So over here on the left, we have our telephone voice commands, volume and controls for the digital portion of our dash. On the right, you have your cruise control, safety suite controls, modes, for your infotainment system. As we move in closer, on the left, we have our headlight and fog lamp controls. On the right, front and rear wiper. Down below here, you have your bright and dim the dash, adaptive high beams, and then way down there, this latch is the hood. The one on the left is your fuel filler cap. And then we have a manual tilting and telescoping wheel so toyota has you set there and then as we move in we have that analog digital combo so we have analog gauges for your fuel level coolant temperature and then charging uh, 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 gauge and then in the middle we have our digital portion of the dash which is about a seven inch display now if we have different drive modes if we take our dial that's on the center console and we move it to the left, we go to eco, and we get some green, push it, we go back to normal. We swing it over to the right, we get red, we go to sport, push it down again, we go back to normal. Now, we have a trail button we can push, and it just says trail popping on. Hit it again, it goes off. And then we have EV mode, which we can hit, and now we have an EV mode that pops on. So it's a fairly simple deal. But we do have additional information we can go through on the, uh, on the center console. There we go. And we can just decide what we want to have shown up here as we go down the road. And then we can get to our vehicle settings as well. So it's a nice, easy system to use here in this RAV4 Hybrid Woodland Edition. Overhead console, you have a spot for your shades right there. There's our SOS button in case there's an emergency on the road. And we also have, which is a real nice touch, LED dome lighting in here, which I like. No roof to show you, so we go to our sun visor with vanity and an LED light. Does it slide? No, but we do have an extension. And in the back of this Woodland Edition, we come to the back. We even have little door sill plates here. They don't say anything, but it's just a nice little touch to lift things up, even for your rear seat passengers. Seat set for my driving position. We'll pop on in, nice flat roof, easy to get into. Five foot 11, plenty of headroom, shoulder width room, and knee room. Fabric all the way down, no seat pocket behind the driver's seat, but we do have a seat pocket behind the front passenger. Down below, we have two heat and air vents, two USB-Cs for connectivity in the back, and then rear door panels, same action as the front. Here's the front door panel. Here is our rear door panel. Everything is the same as far as the style and texture. And then back seats still with the fabric. Headrests are softer though for the rear seat passengers. And for base seats, they are pretty comfortable. And then we have a center armrest. We bring that down nice and soft. Two more cup holders there. So you get four cup holders in the back, one in each door, two in the middle. We got heat and air and connectivity. So your back seat passengers should be pretty happy while they're going off-road in this Woodland Edition. Getting in the cargo area of your Woodland Edition, it's not automatic, so you gotta come to the back, right underneath the Toyota badge, push the button and lift up. But it's nice and easy to lift up. Once you get it open though, you're looking at 37.5 cubic feet of space with the rear seats up. As we come to the in closer, we have that Woodland Edition all-season cargo mat, which is a nice touch. We also get all-season floor mats. Those are still in the box. We have a spare tire underneath, so they got you covered there. What I really like in here is we have a little extra cubby for storage right here. We got a 12 volt and a home power source, just like the TRD Off-Road did. So that's a nice touch. We got the tonneau cover, which I could do without. Now to get the rear seats down, it's pretty easy. You just hit the lever and push them forward. Hit the lever, le uh, lever push them forward. And now with the rear seats down and that tonneau cover out, 69.8 cubic feet of space in the back of this Woodland Edition. 
That's a good number. Just like the TRD off-road, we got plenty of space back here. Here is our window sticker. We'll zoom on in, give you all the action. Fuel economy estimates. Standard equipment right here on the left. Options. Total MSRP. Let's take her out for a spin. We're on the road in this 2023 RAV4 Hybrid Woodland Edition in the Midnight Black Metal with the bronze wheels. Not so sure about the bronze wheels. Uh, I think it goes okay with this Midnight uh, Black Metal. I don't know if it's going to go that good with any other color. So the bronze wheels are kind of like iffy for me. Let me know what you guys think about bronze wheels in general <clears throat> but this thing drives really really well just like the TRD off-road and other RAV4s we've been in it drives fine now you're gonna get a bit more road noise just like we did in the TRD off-road because you got the all-terrain tires and you got a softer setup on the suspension as it's an off-road tuned suspension by TRD you're gonna get some uh, wind noise you're gonna get some road noise that's just the way it's gonna be in, in these off-road type trims now the question becomes, is it really necessary for Toyota to do, to do a RAV4 off-road trim for a hybrid? That I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, I guess maybe I'm glad they did it. But is it really necessary? Are people that are going to buy RAV4 hybrids, are they going to go off-road? Let me know. Let me know what you think about that. But if you do you're going to be able to get down groomed trails you know let's say you want to load this thing up with the family your gear put some gear up top and take it out to your favorite fishing hole drop the boat in the water or go camping i think you're fine on groomed trails there's not and there's no skid plates underneath this one there's not enough ground clearance to do much more than some groomed trail off-roading but that's maybe what the adventure vibe in this vehicle is all about anyway so I, I like that aspect, but we can do that in the TRD off-road. But when you go TRD off-road, gas-powered only, that MSRP was just right at 42 grand, maybe a little shy of 42 grand. And here, let's round up and call it 36. So we're looking at, what is that? 6,000 bucks less, and you get better gas mileage and you get more horsepower with the electric motor up front and out back in this one. Even though you have a regular transmission, eight speed automatic in the TRD off-road, and we have an electronically controlled CVT in this one. So let me know what you think about that and those comparisons. It's a big money difference between the TRD off-road and this. This is much cheaper. So if you're looking for that RAV4 off-road vibe, would the price lead you to go in this direction rather than the TRD off-road? Let me know that in the comments. But we're gonna come down the road here. We'll do an emergency stop here in a couple seconds. In three, two, one. Oh yeah, no problem. Stops on a dime, nice and linear. Now we'll take off.
going to be wallowy in the turns and soft on the suspension. Right now we're sitting in normal. I don't expect sport to do anything, frankly. I'm not going to be bothered with it. I don't think anybody's going to drive this in sport mode. Maybe they'll drive it in eco, right? Because it's a hybrid and they want to maximize their MPGs. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But it drives really well down the road. I feel very confident. It feels very good under my feet. The steering is nice and tight. It's light, but it's tight. It's not vague. So I like that. Uh, and I just like the whole adventure vibe of the RAV4. I mean, it is supposed to be a recreational activity vehicle. So I like they're giving it some recreational activity in this Woodland Edition vibe. So I like that. Now, turning radius on this, same as the TRD off-road, because we got the same tires, right? 18.05 feet, so here we go. And it whips right around, no problem. And around we go and back the other way, so that's good. Now we'll take off, feather in this new engine. This isn't a fast car. Now we're up to 60 and we're going down the road no problem. So it gets everything up to speed. You're just going to get some wind noise and get that road noise out of these all-terrain tires. But it's I think it's a really good spec for 35Gs for a hybrid. So let me know because you're going to get Toyota's latest, even though it's a smaller screen, you're going to get their latest infotainment system with wireless CarPlay Android Auto. You're going to get USB-A, USB-C connectivity. You're going to get 12 volt up front and you're going to get a 12 volt uh, out back with a home power source in the tailgate area plenty of room for storage right um, you're going to get great mpgs with this hybrid powertrain you're going to get electric motor up front and out back so you get that electronically controlled all-wheel drive so that's a plus uh, the only thing i don't see in here i'd like to have is a heated steering wheel i think that would be a nice add to this spec but overall for 35 36 it is right in there, I think, for a hybrid as far as value and far as, uh, as far as what that off-road vibe is bringing you. So let me know what you think about this RAV4 Woodland Edition. Is this the kind of vibe you would go with for an off-road trail spec vehicle? Or are you going to go with the more expensive TRD off-road? Because, you, you know, the hybrid thing just doesn't lend itself to this kind of off-road vibe or are you going to go somewhere else with that hard-earned money of yours let me know in the comments but i'd like to thank team toyota of princeton for allowing the channel access to this 2023 toyota rav4 woodland edition in midnight black metal with the bronze wheels for a review today i'd like to thank all of you for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a like Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.